Hello everyone. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain about the hydraulic cylinder sequencing working with a animation. This is the animation circuit which is of sequencing of cylinders. First we will know that what the it contains and later how it works we will discuss. It consists of tank, filter, hydraulic pump run by the motor, pressure relief valve of the circuit, 4x2 direction control valve, manually actuated spring return and two sequence valve. One sequence valve for the extending stroke, another sequence valve for the retraction stroke. And this sequence valve consists of pressure relief valve and check valve and two cylinders, cylinder 1 and cylinder 2 which will extend sequentially and retract sequentially. The sequencing means when the extension of the cylinders takes place one after the other in the sequence that we are going to call as a sequence and retraction is also takes place one after the other in the sequence. Then how it works, we will take that one. By the direction control wall, we can control the extension and retraction. And here, when the cylinder uh, direction control wall at left envelope, at the left envelope, the fluid in the uh, circuit from the direction control wall, it flows in this direction, in this line, and goes to the, here, to the cylinder 1. That's the piston and side of the cylinder 1, it will go, and there the extension of the cylinder 1 is taking place. And there is a, another a line which is connected to the sequencing hall. And in the sequencing hall, it will go to the this check hall where it is closer position in this direction. There is no flow. And here pressure relief hall, this is set for up to the certain pressure. Below that one, it will not op open and it is in the closer condition till the complete extension of the first cylinder is taking place. After the complete extension of the first cylinder, Okay, the, then it will open, the, this sequence valve will be get open, so it will connect due to the pressure build up in the circuit and that will be pilot operated, this pressure relief valve will be get open and that will send the, through the, this sequence valve, it will goes to the cylinder 2 and the cylinder 2 also extends completely. After the extension, and during that time, during the extension here, the flow of the fluid will be taking place uh, piston and side of the cylinder one first and the other side fluid whatever is there that will goes in this other line and where there's another sequence valve can it contains but here the check valve will be opens in this direction it will the flow will be not taking place through this pressure control valve it will flows through the this check valve and that goes back to the tank in the same way, here directly in the second cylinder extension, the fluid will be flowing directly to the tank as there is a, this valve will be bypassed. This is the extending of the cylinder 1 and 2 sequentially taking place. Similarly, we will take for the retraction. When the direction control valve is at right envelope, the fluid from the pump will be flowing in this direction and goes to the rod and side of the cylinder of the cylinder 2 and retraction of the cylinder 2 will be starts due to the fluid pressure and the fluid at the other side the piston and side in the cylinder 2 that goes to this uh, sequencing hall uh, first and that the sequence hall will be it will not flow through that hall because the check valve will opens in this direction and that the fluid will be goes to the this uh, line and that goes to the tank. And here the fluid whatever going to the rod and side of the cylinder 2 and that also flows in this direction. As there is a set pressure below that one it will not get opens. That means before the complete retraction of the cylinder 2 it will not opens. And there is a check valve in this direction it is in the closer position. Then after the complete extension. After the complete extension, we can see here the pressure buildups in the circuit. Due to that pressure, the pilot 
pressure will be acts on this pressure control hole that will be get connected and that allows the flows through it to the cylinder 1 then the retraction of the cylinder 1 starts and there is no flow through the check valve and the flow is uh, through the pressure control or a pressure relief all to the cylinder 1 retraction of the second cylinder will be taking place and again the flow will be uh, from the piston end side of the cylinder 1 will be going back to the tank directly bypassing the sequencing hole like this the extension and the retraction of the cylinder 1 and 2 sequentially will be taking place and that's why it is called as a sequencing of the hydraulic cylinders here we can see that one when it is in the extension of first and second extension retraction of the second and retraction of the first in the sequence it will be taking place like this it sequentially we are going to use the actuation of the cylinders and this can be used for the different applications where the need of the one after other the cylinder extension is required thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment